Today, the Johnson County Department of Health started a new effort to test frontline workers. And this is critical because they're the group that you're most likely to come in contact with outside your home. Here's KCTV 5's Emily Rittman. Earlier today, the Shawnee Mission Northwest High School parking lot turned into a drive through COVID-19 testing clinic. There was a large sign that asked drivers to have their QR code ready. That's because this was invitation only testing for 250 people. One by one, drivers pulled up to the front of the line for three hours today. Each person here to find out if they were exposed to COVID-19. These are people that are working at uh, child care, daycare facilities. Today's COVID-19 testing focused on first responders without symptoms, hospice workers, employees who provide in-home services to those with disabilities, and child care providers. The second phase of essential workers should start next week. These are people that are working in our grocery stores people that are uh, working and uh, preparing food for the rest of us. The director of the Johnson County Department of Health and Environment says testing essential workers will give a clearer picture of just how well efforts to slow the spread are working. Frankly, their risk of exposure has been higher than the rest of us. Testing in Kansas is limited. Kansas Governor Laura Kelly says she is pushing hard for the state to receive more testing supplies. It must be much more robust before we can safely proceed to open. Governor Kelly says more testing is the key to gradually reopening the economy, likely in regional phases. But that depends on if we've truly flattened the curve. If the public health conditions warrant, we might have to extend the, the statewide stay home order uh, even further. Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News. Today, the Kansas Secretary of Health announced that they are monitoring 35 coronavirus clusters and they can be traced to long term care facilities, private companies, the Lansing State Prison, one hospital and a religious gathering.